Key Launcher is one of the world's most popular Minecraft launchers, but sometimes it runs into authentication problems. My name is Adullah, you're watching Ganero Technology, and in this video, we're going to fix just that. So if you've got T-Launcher up and running and you keep getting uh, authentication error issues with Minecraft, the first thing that you need to do is try and check your username. If this is not right or you don't see a username here, you're going to have to add your Minecraft account to the game. Now you can do this by simply clicking this drop down and then clicking on the configure accounts option. Now go ahead and click on add and select authorization at Microsoft. This, as soon as you click this, uh, you will see this new window show up and in here we're going to click on authentication via browser. What this does is that it opens up your default browser and you can log into your Microsoft account there which then syncs your Minecraft account with T-Launcher automatically. This method works the best in order to make sure because your username here needs to be exactly what it is with your Minecraft account, no spaces, no character case changes and so on and so forth. So you need, you need to make sure that you get the Minecraft username right here. Once this is done, you can close this, come back, make sure that you've selected the right uh, account and make sure you've selected the right release that you want to play. And then you can go ahead and play Minecraft without any problems. If that doesn't work, the next thing you need to do is to check if you're entering the right credentials because a lot of the times if you are going through uh, authorization without a password or authorization at tlauncher.org, uh, your username can be slightly different or maybe it's typed in lowercase and it's not exactly matching what your username at Minecraft is. So double check to make sure that your passwords and your usernames are correct and that they're typed in the right case. If that doesn't help fix your problem, what you can try is to simply check your internet connection and your server. So whatever Minecraft server you're using uh, to play online, just check to make sure if it's uh, still live or the, the server isn't facing any problems. Now you can use uh, a website like mcstatus.io or any other website that you prefer to use. So if I enter the demo server here and press enter, um, you will see that uh, this server is indeed online. Uh, it's on the right port and uh, has the proper version number and players and everything. So you need to make sure that you have uh, the server that you're connected to is online and that you have opened up the right ports. We've already done a video on how you can open and check Minecraft ports. So you can go ahead and uh, check that out. It should be linked somewhere in the corners of this video. If um, your server is indeed online and you can't connect to it using uh, a launcher, one thing that you can try is uh, using the regular Minecraft launcher to open up uh, and connect to your server. So as you can see here, if you can launch the game using Minecraft's uh, regular launcher and that seems to be working then it's a problem with uh, your T-Launcher installation or the way a T-Launcher is handling your particular game which means you need to move on to the next step and reinstall T-Launcher from scratch. How do we do that? Well, uh, you can do it by pressing, uh, right clicking the Windows Start menu icon and then heading over to Installed Apps. In here, you can just search for T-Launcher as I'll go ahead and do that. And wow, T-Launcher is gone. Just search for T-Launcher, head over to the other side, click on more options, and then click on uninstall. Windows will ask you, are you sure that you want to uninstall the game uh, or the app or whatever? We're going to go ahead and click on uninstall again, and that should get rid of T-Launcher. And now you can head back over to the official T-Launcher website, re-download it, and set it up again, and that should fix your problem. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.